Why do solar panels in the USA cost three times more than in Europe? $30,000 for solar panel systems on the home in Texas. Same installation in Europe like Poland or Germany costs less than $10,000. Identical panels, same manufacturer, same inverters. The difference? Well, over $20,000 disappears somewhere along the way. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Martina and I've been running a solar installation company, Solar Time, in Dallas, Texas for over 10 years now. My family and many friends have been doing the same thing in Europe for over 20 years now, so much longer, and they have enormous amount of experience. So I have very reliable and verified information directly from them about types of installation they mount and how much their clients pay for similar systems as we use here in the USA. What makes up the final price of a solar system and the project stages of identical 10 kilowatt solar system? Let's compare this and at the end of this video, I will show you the difference and explain exactly where this money disappears and why here in the United States, clients pay three times more than in Europe. You will be shocked. This isn't an accident. This isn't the market. This is a system that's deliberately inflates prices and you're about to see how it's being done. So if you live in Dallas, Texas area, make sure to contact me. You will receive a free quote for your solar system or energy storage and you live farther away anywhere in the United States. You can also contact me. I'm going to leave details in the video description below. I'll help you find a solid local installer in your city. Now remember the solar tax credit may only be available until the end of the year as everything indicates you and the installation project takes three to four months so hurry up don't waste time message me and I will try to help you still deduct that 30% of cost from your solar taxes in 2025 let's talk about the technology the first thing you think or what a sleek salesperson might tell you is that our systems are more expensive because the technology is better. Now for $30,000, you're getting a superior space age American technology. Let's tear that myth down right now. It is not about the technology. The solar industry is a globalized market. The company might be American or German or engineered in Germany, engineered in America, but the supply chain is global. Companies like Enfe, Solar Edge are popular here, but also in Europe. So is a German brand, SMA, which is a German company, like I mentioned. But the reality is your installer in Texas and the installer in Poland are very likely ordering from the same catalog of top quality tier one products. The hardware is a commodity. The panels on the screen, manufacture in the same factory in China or Asia, the hybrid inverter, identical model, identical power and appearance, just different output current parameter settings. 240 volt AC grid voltage in the USA, compliant with local regulation and standards, and the mounting system, practically the same thing. If the equipment is the same, so where is that $20,000? Hold tight because I'm starting with the biggest scandal right now. Well, speaking of, if you're into solar or new technology, do not hesitate to click on that subscribe and the like button for more insights into the industry. But now back to the video. It's not the hardware, it's in the soft costs, the invisible price tags. The bureaucracy is our first shock. So you wanna install solar panels in your house in the USA. Well, prepare for a paperwork war. City permit costs anywhere from $500 to $2,000. Utility company approval for grid connection, another $500. Technical design, $1,000. Engineering stamps, even more. Total, this costs you three to $4,000 before even the first panel hits your roof. In Europe, this cost is zero. Yes, it's really what you heard, it's zero. You sign the contract today, tomorrow the company can start installing your dream solar installation. But that's just the beginning. Have you ever heard of an HOA? I know a lot of you say you actually purposefully don't buy homes in HOAs, but that's a homeowner association that can ban you from installing solar panels on the south side. And unfortunately, this most sun exposed side faces the street. And why? Because they're ugly. Yes, you heard it right again. You have the perfect roof, but if for some reason it faces your neighbor or your neighbor doesn't like how the panels look, game over. Yes, 
This is the American free. <laughs> there is a possibility of appeal, but it's a long battle and we've managed to win against HOA more than once, but it takes time and time is money. Now let's talk about hidden lobbying and regulations. So this is another big scandal. Ever heard of rapid shutdown? It's a regulation requiring special devices on every single panel, officially for safety, and unofficially, it's lobbying by American companies, including ones like SolarEdge and Enphase. They want to eliminate the competition, so they push through a regulation forcing you to buy these devices. Extra cost? Another $1,500. Europe doesn't have this and somehow nobody's dying, there's not any more fires. All of Europe have millions of installation without rapid shutdown and no problems. But here in the USA, we must pay that extra $1,500 because two companies wanted it that way. Every element in chain is more expensive. Panels, 18 cents per watt in Europe, 50 cents in the USA. Why? tariffs and transport, storage costs, and of course, high margins of middlemen or distribution. Inverters, twice as much. Mounting system, three times more. And installation, this is where it gets the worst. Installers in the USA charge 50 cents per watt, and I'm averaging here, in Europe, 25 cents. Is the America installer twice as good? No, it's the work twice as hard? Another no, quite the opposite. Installing on American roofs is child's play compared to European tiled roofs, which are basically the most common. Now let's talk about the installation process, the bureaucratic hell. In Europe, you sign the contract, the next day is the installation, third day you're enjoying free electricity from the sun. In USA, you sign the contract, wait in one to four months for all the permits, city, HOA, utility company, then the installation, then, that's not over. Then you have to go through a city inspection, then another utility inspection, and maybe after another month of failed past inspections because of all the inspectors and what they want, you get permission to turn your system on. Five months versus three days. And during all that time, you're paying interest on a loan for an installation you can't even use yet. Now let's talk about financing, which is another trap. So in Europe, you go directly to the bank, get a preferential loan at 3.5% annually. In the USA, you must use financing companies. Again, another middleman who's ripping us off, who take their cut. Results, 7 to 10% interest plus additional hidden fees. Now, these financing companies are another parasite in our system. Why can't we just go directly to the bank? Why does everybody always has to make money off of us? Because the system was designed so everyone makes money off of your solar panels. So who is stealing those $20,000? Well, the list is pretty long. SETI for permits and inspections, utility company for connection approval, lobbying firms for forcing their products onto you, product distribution, financial middlemen for credit or for your loan, insurance companies, because insurance is very expensive. I mean, the installer has to insure their cars, their property. At every stage, insurance companies add their cost, and this has significant impact on every stage of your project. Now, everyone in the chain, because they can, now this isn't a free market. This is a very weird setup where everyone wants a piece of the pie. So here is the brutal truth in the numbers. 10 kilowatt system in Europe versus 10 kilowatt system in the USA. Permits and documents, zero versus $4,000. Solar panels, 1,800 versus $5,000. Mounting system, 1,000 versus 2,500. Inverter, 1,500 versus $3,000. Rapid shutdown, zero versus $1,500. Electrical components, 500 versus $1,000. Installation, 2,500 versus $5,000. So total for the European system is $7,300 for a 10 kilowatt system versus $22,000. The difference, $14,700. Almost three times more for an identical installation. Comparing these two installation by price per one watt of DC power is how the installations are sold here in the United States and how you can compare and evaluate the differences. So we get a price at a European pace for one 
watt of finished installation is 0.73 dollars per watt and american pays two dollars and twenty cents per watt of installation so will this ever change honestly I doubt it. <laughs> Gosh, this was so depressing. Too many people in America are making money from the finished system and I don't think everybody, anyone wants to change it. But at least now you know where your money goes. And maybe if enough people find out about this, something will finally change. Write in the comments how much a solar system costs in your country. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos about solar energy. And remember, knowledge is power. Literally. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.